Yeah, I forgot in episode 28 to uh, do the end of season awards that I promised on episode 26 to do. Sir, we're going to go back in the time where we had to shave there, lads. Yeah, we're going to be doing it there. Okay. Overall, best 11. Let me know who you think the best player of the season was, if you even remember last season at this point. If signing of the season, stuff like that, this is your last chance to leave that comment. Um, but uh, let's look. Mittenen has been added to enter the overall best 11 as a substitute, I guess. Yes, there he is. Okay, so Tobias is still with us. Esland and Vugoyevich are still with us. So we're still we're working in the new faces, you could say. All right, here we go. Oh, let's look at um, blah, blah, blah. I was just hoping we could see where those players had gone off to. Johansson is still available on a free. Did he play anywhere last season? Okay, that was us. Never mind. And then he retired after 116 international caps for Estonia. End of season awards. Fans player of the season, Yalali. That kind of surprises me. I mean, you don't get a lot of right back, you know, even if it's a wing back, kind of love in the game. Mietenen and Vukovic. Mietenen had more goals, I want to say, this season, but we'll check. Um, Gorenser for 200K is the signing of the season. I agree with that, my friends. And then young player of the season is still Yalali. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go take a look. I just want, this is going to be real, real quick. We're not going to take a deep, deep dive. Um, most appearances, Mittenen with 40, Hansen with 39, and then Yalali, I mean, Yalali with 40 with two of those being subs. Goals, 35 for Matthias Mittenen. My goodness, 21 in the league, good for one every game. That is solid. Plus one every game in the Europa League. And one every three games in the Champions League. But, you know, we're just getting used to that level. You know, it was a first first run, so fair enough. Vukijevic with 14 and 19 with a sub. Again, not very – I mean, that, that's still very good, you know. Um, was that like one – or, yeah, like three-fourths of a goal a game on average? And then he averaged one goal a game in the Champions League. Again, some of that not against the best competition. And then one every two games in the Europa League. But, you know, Mitzenum was scoring him still – quite tasty on the stats roberto was 16 even though he only i mean 20 subs so he did play quite a few games but a lot of those were like 15 20 minute appearances at the end of games lapa line with 13 very solid and then it, it that's kind of it right it kind of drops off from there onesie twosies built in there but nothing too exciting yulali with 16 assists roberto with 13 vukievich with 12 esland with 10 in that attacking midfield of the center role. Christian Brandstrom in nine starts and six substitute appearances getting six assists. I am quite excited about his future. We are going to keep him. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to have to like sign some of these guys just to like keep everyone away. Like we got John Erickson that doesn't have a buyout clause. Hopefully he loves us. We should probably check that. <laughs> he does love us, but you know. Love only goes so far sometimes. Um, key rating. Okay, we'll, we'll ignore Lucas Enstrom. Quite good on his two appearances, but, you know, to be fair. Um, Yalali on a 7.49 in 40 total appearances. Same thing, Matena was 7.45 right there. Quite, quite good. Key passes per 90. Lucas Enstrom. Okay, Roberto. That's a little unexpected for me. John Erickson right there. Okay. All right, that's... Not exactly what I was expecting. Runstrom, Tobiasen, and Roberto with 30 headers because he's playing that complete forward role. Gorinser, so different. Runstrom is our the guy heading the ball away for us. Key tackle, 16 from Gorinser. Runstrom with 14. Kasselina, Tobiasen, Charles, all, all center backs. Key passes, Vukovic with 62. Mitten with 59. Eslund with 58. Roberto with 51. Erickson with 50. Very solid in attack. All right, my friends, that's what we want to take a look at uh, today for last season. Now, let's go hop forward, and we've got a game in the league. Let's roll the intro. All right, my friends, welcome back. Episode 29, we are three games into the season. We won all three games. Um, Hammerby has not won a game yet. To be fair, their start of the season schedule, you know, you could argue was a little unfair, but not really. They played Malmo and us. Those were like the top two teams, right? Like, because we're the best. And then Trollborgs, who just got promoted. And they have not picked up a win yet. So interesting times in Hammerby. And you've got Elfsborg, who last season kind of fell off quite a bit, right? To 
eighth. Look at this run. And then dropping off. That is a shock. But they're back at the top. I mean, Noko Boring has got the game. We, we get the games in hand against them. So um, whoever wins this one, assuming there's a positive. Yeah, because goal differential will take top spot in the league. I want to show you something, though. I want to show you something. Um, Kieta. He had a hat trick the other day, my friends. Um, yeah. He had a hat trick against Yonkomping Sodro. 9.5 rating. And then what do they do the next game? They play him in a, as a backup. Because he's on a backup contract. He is listed, my friends. He is listed for 900 grand. They paid us 5.5 million. Let me know what you think. I I think we rescue him. I think it would present a bit of a problem, really. Because we've got Vukovic, Roberto. That would put Kieta at mid-10, and it somehow thinks he is below. I guess he has kind of dropped off a little bit. Maybe we saw mid-10, although he's Swedish. That's always a itch, iffy situation. But we've got – I mean, we, we do have a lot of strikers, like, to be fair, right? So – we got Roberto, Arlison on loan, Mitena Vukovic, Lapalainen, who is kind of on the rise. Um, Elolson, you know, but I, he was so good for us. 17 goals and 25 two seasons ago on a 7 5 3 when he was 22, and now he's 24. I feel like we should rescue him. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm not 100% sold because his ability to develop is going to, like, essentially stop. But he's, look, I, the physicals are so good. I wish his concentration was higher, but, like, we can't, we won't be able to tutor him or anything like that. But I, I, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Let me know. Give me a compelling argument for or against re-signing Kieta for 900 grand. He doesn't have a buyout clause. That's just what they have him listed for. That would be a great financial move for us as we essentially would steal 4.6 million euros from them and get the player back. And we could sell somebody else in the transfer, the summer transfer window. So let me know. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to rescue him. All right, my friends. On to the game. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh I just want to do it right now. I, I'm... I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until you give me a compelling argument, I think. This is going to come out on Monday. I need to I need to do some recording, though. Oh, I'm going to think on it. I'm going to think on it, but I want to know your compelling arguments for or against. Or are you just kind of, eh? All right. It's all the typical. We, we've, we definitely were playing Erickson. Erickson is our starter. I mean, he's 20 years old. Look at him, my friends, as an advanced playmaker. 16 first touch, which is increasing. 13 passing increasing. 14 technique increasing. 17 teamwork. 14 vision. 17 decisions. 15 flair. 14 composure. He's amazing. We need to re... I mean, we already re-signed him. We need to re-sign him with a... With a buyout clause. Um, Esland. It might be time. I'm just... It, it might be time to cash in. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, oh, I'm so tempted to Kieta. Oh, that just seems too good to be true. Hey, here's five and a half million euros. Yeah, we'll take 900 grand. You just take him off our books, please. I, I'm so tempted to say done. But that would really kind of mess up. Like, would he want a backup contract or would he take a rotation contract? Because we're going to run into, like, squad issues. Pick up where you left off, lads. I guess I could have shown you the recent games. Let's let's just go real quick. In the middle of the highlight. So, we beat Hammerby 3-0. That was unexpected, but, I mean, they've dropped off a bit. Alsterson's 1-0 away, and Eskilstuna to start the season, 2-0. Okay, back to the match. Just wanted to show that to you. We are going to be doing extended highlights today, my friends. This is, this is potentially, right? If we uh, grab the league table here, I don't know why it puts it there. Maybe because I was playing windowed earlier. Maybe. This would take us top. Because we if we if we win, we have to have at least a plus one goal differential, right? So that gets us to seven. So Noro Coping on a on a good run to start the season. 
I've had several comments recently asking like, hey, like what skin are you using where like in between the highlights, it's got those various stats. It is the DF11 skin, but you have to download the DF11 face packs as well because it changes the player screen as well and kind of moves the photo around. I absolutely love it. Um, but if you don't change the, if you don't download the face pack, it is all like it makes the normal normal uh, images for the faces like these big, so you can't see them. So the face pack is like 9.9 .9 gig or something crazy. I, that just stands out to me, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna say 9.9 .9 gig uh, download. Sila is going on for a while. Vukovic to Ericsson. They tried to chip the keeper. You could have played it to Mutenin, who's just standing there. I hate this. Is the only thing I don't like about the skin. I don't know if it's the skin or football manager, but sometimes it resizes itself. Which is like, what's going on? To be fair, we would take a draw here, but we beat, we smash Hammerby 3 0. Like, we would really like to get a victory. Runstrom's gonna get to that, the youngster. Oh, and we, we picked up a, uh, another Swedish center back. I'll have to show that to you after the game if I can remember to do that. So, we do have a transfer. He's offside. Lovely. Come on, boys. But uh, it was one of those things where. I want to say he was a Malmo player because I got questions in the paper like, oh, you signed a Malmo player. Like, how do you think the club's going to react? And I'm like, I'm going to think they're going to say he's Swedish and is going to help us meet that, you know, nine players trained in nation requirement of the league. And he looks to be quite good for the future. So they're going to like it. Like, I get rivalry and, mate, is he good? Yeah. Is he Swedish? Yeah. Done. Um, That might meet mean like bandiera might be leaving or, or we might have to make some space because he is on a rotation contract he would not take a backup or a hot prospect mid tenon castrati passes it through ball lovely stuff mid tenon that was kind of a tap in to be fair to be fair but i'll show you him um we paid he was worth like 500 grand we paid a million uh, it, okay, the, the value our scout supplied was like 500 to a million. So we gave him a million with the potential if he plays like, I think it was like 50 games, we'll give him 500 grand. It may have been 20 games. Eh, I figure if he, if he's, if he plays 20 games, he's probably made it. So, um, and now that we've signed him, it's like 1.2k a week, something like that. His value has jumped up to a million. So not that that's what he would sell for if we had to turn around and sell him, but, um, you know, I think it's a good buy. He's 19 years old. Good buy for the future. But we'll have to give him some game times, hopefully in some of those, like, you know, lower team games. Vukajevic um, on a 6.5. Not having the best game. He has played a lot. Do it for the fans. Don't get complacent, boys. You weren't that bad. You weren't that bad. I'm very happy with your effort in the final third, Mjotenin. Vukajevic, not as happy. So if all results hold here, my friends, we are tied at the top, but we're in first because of goal differential. We'd be three points clear of Elfsborg and Gothborg, and then more after that. We're, we're going to try, my friends, and go undefeated this season because it wasn't what we had like three or four losses last season. If that, and some draws, and that's what cost us the, the title against like Malmo. Like, come on. Vukjevic on a 6.4. If he's not improved by 60 minutes, we're bringing in Roberto. That's the beauty of having now having Roberto up to being able to play complete forward. Iwali just kind of it was a positioning thing, I think. Um, but Roberto now knows that position, so he can slot in in the advanced forward or the uh, the complete forward. You know what? You're looking fired. Uh, you're looking fired up. I'm gonna give you until 62 and a half minutes because you're fired up. 6.4. Okay, you've increased. Okay. Bruised ribs. Mate, you're fine. It's it's just ribs. You're a little uncomfortable, but it's fine. Okay, that was a good switch of the field there, you know? Kind of rotating it out to that right winger. With I mean, we have five people. We have five people following one man. That seems a bit aggressive, but we're going to bring on Roberto. You can be fired up, but you're still on a 6.4, so that's not doing it for me. Runstrom is kind of struggling a little bit, health-wise. Come on, boys. Let's go get it back. It's a pretty even game, to be fair. Roberto does not get to that. Hassan heads it down, though. Erickson to Castrati. Can he get to Mittenen? He can. Mittenen. Back to Castrati. Patient as you like. Up to Roberto. Plays it first time. Mittenen. That was, that was, that was a good attempt. 
I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, hmm. Do we bring in okay? Ing, our captain, not playing well. You know what? We we want motiv motivated players, right? We're trying to challenge our players to up their game, so we're gonna bring on Brandstrom. And we're going to switch those guys around because he's just more of a central midfielder on support. He likes the left side of the pitch. So there you go, mate. In he goes. Demand more. We are away from home, to be fair. So it's not like we should absolutely dominate the game. I just think we should be able to get the win here. Okay. I didn't even see who that was. Why would I say those words when they got the ball in our attacking third? We should be able to get the win here. Penalty. Oh, FM, you're listening to me. Luis blocks it, but the second time ball. Yes. Yes. Who caused the penalty? Is it going to give us a rating? Who, who has the rating drop? Grincer? Hmm. Luis is frustrated. Wow, we got lots of upset human beings on our team at this point in time, my friends. Headed down. Roberto. He's got Mittenen, but that was, I mean, what's Mittenen going to beat the entire back line by himself? Like, hold that ball up. You know, take it easy, boys. Runstrom, don't you dare put, mm, I thought that striker was going to jump on that. Karastrev, though. First time touch to Brandstrom. Full ball up to Mittenen. He's got the run in through the back line. He's got Roberto running. Can he cross? He did. Oh, it was a, not really a sitter. He was challenged, I suppose. Um, Grincer is struggling. Runstrom has got damaged ribs, but we're going to bring in Klein. And I'm just trying to get Klein game time, to be honest with you. Not that I wanted to play center back, but, you know, in terms of we had to have nine players, homegrown nation Sweden, so we kind of had to rotate some people around. Um, and that's, so he was kind of my mid, part of my midfield coverage, but also our center back cover. So Mittenen, he'll try it again. Roberto is covered. There's no way. Okay, play it back. That's smart. Crossdrift. Top of the box. Brandstrom. Oh, deflected. I thought Brandstrom was going to be like, hey, lads, I'm still here. Five star potential or four and a half or whatever it is. Brandstrom chips it. Not a lot of power on that. And then what, what are you doing, Brandstrom? You just watched it and then they smacked it into your face. I don't know if you saw that. Richmond kickers against New York Red Bulls tool that happened. 5.6. Um... Maybe he missed the penalty. Uh, goalkeeper went to clear the ball in the box and went right off the, the striker's face and into the goal. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Funny if it's not your team, to be fair. All right, boys, we don't have a lot of time. I, we're on the road. I just – wins would be good. Not losing is is the best part of this. Brandstrom, lovely ball. Oh, I love him so much. And I love you, Lolly. And I – didn't love that cross, but it comes down. Erickson heads it down. Brunstrom, pay attention, mate. The ball is in the air near your face. Mutenin, unselfish. Oh, Roberto. Can we get one here at the death? Come on, boys. No, that, no one's getting to that. Erickson, though, gets the second ball. Castrati. Oh, I thought that was going to deflect in. Odegaard, very nice. Very nice. Awareness. Okay, is this the end of game highlight? There's only nine seconds left. Flicked on, Brandstrom, Erickson, just ping it forward, Hassan. I feel like this is end of game highlight, but Roberto, can he get one final run? Oh, wait, what is the ref doing there? Let that finish. Come on, top of the box. Mm, I'm going to say you're unlucky. And it was a away game against competition for the top, okay? Like, I know the board, board's probably, board's mad. Like, let's just check. I'm sure the board's like, I'm not happy that you're not in first. Um... Okay, because it's early days, they're just like, we just expect you to win. So, we've yet to lose, okay? that uh, Things are good. Things are good. It's going to be, it looks like a tight race. Malmo down here as well. I mean, to be fair, it's they're only four points off, but they're four points off, and Hammerby is six points off. So, you're saying there's a chance. Let me show you this transfer before I forget. Matthias Matt Johansson. Yes. Oh, he's already two and a half star. I just thought... He looked really good. You know, he doesn't have any flair, but everything else is not red. He is really good. If you just look at being a central defender, whatever, whatever we play, right? He's got all the attributes for it. He's six feet tall, 13 jumping reach, 13 heading, improving rotation contract. I tried to like immediately loan him back out and it was like, he's not willing to go because he just signed a new deal. And it's like, fair enough. Um, you know, he is a Malmo player prospect or whatever, but they did you know, 15 apparently with 12 of those are substitute substitutions right so didn't really get to play he's just looking to play but he's 19 we got him on a three-year deal 
I think it's a good pickup. The only problem being the, okay, Bandier now falls below him, so he probably needs to get loaned out. Did I already loan him out? No. He probably needs to go or get loaned out. Um, Castle Linen is kind of reaching that point. I'm kind of gutted. I mean, he's 7K a week, right? And his value starting to fall off. We got the summer transfer window. He may have to go. Let me know what you think about that. I mean, that is, you know, that hurts. That hurts me on the inside a bit, if I'm being honest. But, you know, that's that's football. We brought him in. He's been a great leader for us and, and did a good job. And it might be kind of time, you know, because our, our definite starter, sorry, I'm hopping around here, are... Hilarious. Klein is apparently better than Rundstrom and Gerenser. I just think that's funny. But Rundstrom's got the potential, the five-star potential. His de determination is dropping. Why? Why, mate? We need to get you some tutoring again. He's lighthearted. Gerenser with the five-star, 21. So, like, we've got our starters, right? Charles, good, but may not improve. So, maybe he could go because he's Brazilian. You know, he's not Swedish. It's not that he's Brazilian, right? Just to make sure we are clear on that. It's just that he's not Swedish. So, I love that the composure is skyrocketing. 12.4 for, like, ever. And now it's skyrocketed up two points. I don't know why. That is curious. But seven grand a week is a lot to play. pay for a guy that hasn't played a league game yet. So, that's the only game we're going to be doing today, my friends. Um, we are going to hop ahead. I, I don't really want to bring you back for the Malmo game. I think it's going to be... Because, really, we should be winning the league or in the top two. That is That is the expectation. The goal this year is to make a deep Champions League run. If not, when we get bumped out to the Europa League, finish that run. Um, so maybe I'll bring you back for AIK, and by that point, we'll see some stuff here for the Champions League. That is a bunch of games to play. I understand you're going to miss a big chunk of the season, but this is episode 29 with this club. So I don't know how much longer the journey is going to last. It depends on the run that we make here. So we'll take a look at it from there. I do really appreciate all the support on Patreon. I don't have it pulled up right now. I'll get you in the next episode. But let me know what you thought about that. Check out this stuff over here. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.